What's goody, what's goody, what's goody, people? It's your boy JFK Jax F. Kennedy, man, reporting live from Steak Sauce Television. We all over the place, man. Yo, we going to talk about a couple things today. Now, I mean, I, I have ran across a couple things, and um, it kind of made me want to do a little pre-recorded right quick. So I think I'm going to speak on a few things that I just, I just seen not too long ago. One of the um things was DJ Khaled. Now, they were saying DJ Khaled used Ace Hood and T-Pain to get ahead. I felt like DJ Khaled has always been a culture vulture. And this is just my opinion. I know people have their own opinions. People say different stuff. But to me, I felt like he's... Like, you don't have to be white to be a culture vulture, to me. Like, to me, if you a part, if you trying to... If you just take it from the culture and you're not bringing nothing to the culture, you're a culture vulture. I mean, when you bring, when you when you come to the culture and you only receive, you don't give. You don't not it ain't even about it ain't even about, you know what I'm saying, giving money. It's about putting people on. Like look how long Ace Hood been down with we are the best. This dude was just they just knocked him what like a couple years ago talking about PPP loans like what? Like, bro, everybody be saying, like, oh, Khaled had the radio station in Miami. Cool, right? That's cool. I'm not taking that away from him. But I don't remember hearing about Khaled like, like that. Like, the, like, I'm talking about, like, back in the days. Now, think about, like, when, when God Bless the Dead, when Pun was around. When Fat Joe was really killing them with the with the music game and all that. Why wasn't Khaled dropping no mixtapes or nothing? Like how DJ Big Mike was, DJ Clue was, even Envy, DJ uh, K Slay, God bless the dead. DJ Scoob Dude, these dudes was dropping consistent mixtapes and they was breaking new artists. I've never heard DJ Khaled doing that. Never. Ace Hood... Ace Hood was dropping mixtapes at one time almost every month. How he's not a millionaire. You know how many people came in the game after Ace Hood used his same format and got on? Make it make sense, though. Now, what I mean, Khaled been feeding off our culture for the longest, bro. And I think it's weird he got restaurants in Miami and all black people work there. That's weird to me when you not black. But anyway, I'm not even going to get into that. <laughs> <coughs> and I know y'all going to say, oh, at least he gave them jobs. But, bro, these people, these dudes know ways where you can make money. See, that's one thing I do respect about Gillian Wallow. Shout out Gillian Wallows, because they be bringing people on their show that be trying to put people on the game that could get you mad money. They not just trying to put you at a restaurant paying you probably minimum. You know what Khaled probably paying them people working at his restaurant? Probably the probably minimum, minimum wage and no higher. Like, come on, bro. Like, use your brain. These dudes know ways where you can make millions. Are they putting you on? Look at how they lock Tory Lanez up. Tory Lanez, the only artist you ever heard of showing his fans way to make money with the NFT joints. He had his fans making money. Who? None of your favorite artists ever did that, man. Be real, man. You know what I mean? But back to your boy Cali. Then Rick Ross was crying when 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 Baby got over on him. I guess he was signed to Cash Money, but he ain't really. That's because Baby know he ain't like. It seemed like anybody could put those two letters in front of their name, and they're just considered a DJ. Like anybody could put DJ in front of their name, ain't really spun no records, ain't put no mixtapes out. 
they ain't put nobody on nothing. Like, DJs was known for putting on artists. You know how many artists DJ Big Mike? Yo, if y'all never heard of DJ Big Mike, yo, go look up DJ Big Mike. He's from Connecticut, white dude, yo. He has to be up there with Clue them. Like, because to me, I put, like, K-Slay, Flex, Clue. Like, I put those three at, like, to me. Those are, like, three of the top DJs. But Big Mike is right there. Like, Big Mike, what? You know how many, you know how many Styles P mixtapes Big Mike did? How many Max B's? How many new artists Big Mike brought? Like, his mixtapes was crazy, like. And he was dropping mixtapes, like, every day. Like, bro, he was killing Khaled. I don't understand how we not talking about him instead of Khaled. You know what I'm saying? But they act surprised when they like, oh, Khaled used T-Pain. He used everybody. He used Drake. He used Lil Baby. He used all, like, yo, look at them so... We from the hood, yeah, and I got these goals on That's all TP. Those his biggest records. Those is what really got him where he at. Not them songs with Jay-Z and them. Them We Are The Hood. Them type songs, them old, them the ones that got him where he at. Where, where, where Ace Hood was starting off most of them songs. The, the game is so evil and wicked, bro. Like... These dudes will never show you how to make your own label, but they'll put you on their label. Like, you have to think about that, man. These dudes, like, even like, yo, not to get off subject, because you know this steak sauce television, baby. And when I say we all over the place, we be all over the place. But you know these dudes ain't going to put you on the game, especially my own people. My own people will find out something. And you know what they're going to do? They're going to charge you for it. And it's like... You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy to me. But back to the Khaled joint, though. I was even wondering how this dude got a star on the Walk of Fame. Yo, I was in Cali like a couple months ago. He got a star? I'm like, how he got a star? <laughs> Yo, that's bugged out. But that's how you know when they down with the, with the get down. They get whatever they want. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, man. Word. How Khaled go further than K-Slay? God bless the dead. K-Slay gave us Pat Poos, Billy Bab. Yo, yo, bad people came out through, through, that, through that drama king tunnel. Bro, the only thing Khaled is is a middleman. I don't even think he make the beats. He has a beat team. He's the email king. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, it's crazy, man. What else we gonna talk about? Yo, WAC 100 was saying he got something on. Who he was talking? Oh, he said he got something on Benzino. But, you know, Benzino messed with them trainees, them Transformers. So, it's probably something like that. He was telling Benzo Benzino to calm down because he got some. And it's probably Benzino messing with them Transformers. Because I remember it was an old video. Benzino was at like a a, a, um, a a hotel or something. And the Transformer was on his bone or something like that. But that's crazy. It's always, what's up? Yo, like, yo, I said this in my last video. What's up with these old people and all this beef y'all got going? The old dudes is beefing more than the young dudes right now. Like, say, y'all y'all old dudes, sit down, sit down somewhere, man. Or y'all have a stroke or something, man. Sit down, B. But yeah, though, what, 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 what music came out? Ransom dropped the track today. That was, Well, not today, but Friday, yesterday. That, that was fire. That was fire. I ain't really too much like the mac and cheese, the French, because French Montana dropped the mac and cheese five. It wasn't all that, man. You know what I mean? I'd give it like a two, maybe three stars. French fit, French Ben fell off to me. Like, he Ben fell off. I felt like, I feel like ever since Max B went to jail, free the wave, it's kind of been a rat with French to me. Word, though. 
But this your boy, JFK, Steak Sauce Television. We shining out of here, baby. Ow.